So Patrick's Raider here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to visit all the games that I finished in 2024. It's my halfway of the year report. So let's see what I have been playing. To start everything, I played Batman Arkham Origins. I love this game. I feel it's really underrated. Next up, we have Call of Duty Ghosts. It's all right. I had fun. Not my favorite Call of Duty, but not the worst. Then I finished Red Dead Redemption. I think it's the PS4 version. Next game on the list is 007 Nightfire. This might be my favorite James Bond game. Next up, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Separate Ways, the DLC. Here's the thing. I wasn't a fan of the main game, but here, the DLC, they made it fun. I liked it. Much better than the main game. Next game on the list that I beat, Mayhem Brawler. It's a beat-em-up. It was fun. Next up, another beat-em-up. TMNT Shredder's Revenge, one of my favorite games. I love it. After this, I finished Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. I love that game. Next up, we have TMNT Follow the Folk Clan on the Game Boy. I love this game. One of my favorites. Ooh, Shadows of the Dam. I love this game. I love the art style. 360 PS3 era is my favorite generation. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It has become one of my favorite Call of Duty games. It's a better Star Wars Battlefront than the actual EA Star Wars Battlefront. Then we have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It was me. Bioshock. Love Bioshock. Call of Duty WW2. World War II. Uh, it was fun. Yakuza 0. One of my favorite games of all time. Then we have Resistance Fallen Man. Excellent game. I like it. Kind of cheap on the difficulty. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It was fun. I liked it. It's the most fun I had with a Call of Duty game in years. Then I finished Silent Hill 3. Awesome game. I loved it. Fort Solace. Arthur Morgan in Space. Then I have Alone in the Dark, the new game. I love this game. The lack of budget shows, but I had fun with it. After this, I finished Infamous, the original. I love this game. One of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite series. Sony, you have to bring this back, please. After this, we have Bloodstone 007. Excellent game. Might be the best Activision Bond game ever. After this, I remember I just bought a PS, another PS2 and I started playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. I 100% Rodney Mullen's campaign. Love this game. One of my favorite games of all time. Now we have Rise of the Ronin. It was fun. Kind of overstayed its welcome, but it was, it was a fun ride. One of my favorite games this year, Stellar Blade. Love it. Next, we have Ratchet and Clank, the original game on PS2. I'm not a fan. Then we have Sly Cooper and the Thievist Raccoon that I have played on the PS5. Loved it. This game is goaded. Then we have Ratchet and Clank 2 Going Commando. Awesome game. They made Huge improvement over the first one. Then we have Terminator Resistance. Amazing game. And for last game that I beat in June, Devil's Third on the Wii U. I don't know why it was hated when it released. It's not polished, but it's a fun hack and slash shooter game. Is it the best thing ever? No, but yeah. I want to know what you've been playing this year. See you next time. If you like this video, please share, comment, subscribe. It helps a lot.